We're rolling again. <laughs> and we're back. Take two. <laughs> and we're back for the Patreon <laughs> podcast extra with Taylor Spivey. Not the Taylor Spivey that has the handle Taylor Spivey, but we're here with TK Spivey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally kick ass, Spivey. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I like that version much better. That's, I like that. Totally kick ass, Spivey. You should double for the, the last recording. Well, you know how people say, like, I was like Spidey. Like I, was, like, I say that when I trail run, like, I have these trail shoes and I'm like, I love them because I'm like Spidey. I'm, I'm like Spivey. I'm like Spidey on them. I can like bank the corners and stuff. Now I'm going to be like, I'm like Spivey. Yeah. I can get so many weird like variations of spivey like spidey spicy <laughs> speedy i heard oh, in yeah. one interview somebody, they said spivy i'm like spivy. Spivy. yeah i get spivy a lot oh, that's no, a bummer that always spivy's a bummer sad. i'd rather have spidey spidey yeah spidey. <laughs> that'd be much better all right so <laughs> let's reel it in now we're getting punchy uh-huh. what um all right so you're here in carlsbad training what does a typical week what does a typical day or week look like? And I know it may change, but just give us some general, general specifics. On, uh, <laughs> general specifics. Okay. And what a general, um, um, what a week would look like. Well, every day isn't the same. Paulo structures our training based on uh, a week plan, more of a monthly plan, and then each month will vary. But more or less, the week, the week is what determines what we do each day. So, like Monday is typically an easy day, and then we'll do say two workouts that day like a swim and a run um tuesday will be something a little harder we'll where we'll do all three sports with maybe one having some sort of intensity let's say the bike will do five hill reps up double peak <laughs> oh <laughs> my seated over gear so it's pretty all brutal. the way to the top uh-huh that'll build strength yeah yeah i'm getting really strong right now <laughs> yeah you are yes um, you are. the next day will be a little easier wednesday two workouts let's say and then thursday maybe a hard run with a, another swim somewhere in there um, what does a hard run look like hard run well for me i'm in the the non-runner group so we have two separate groups they're they're the runners and they're the the learning to run <laughs> so choose your words right <laughs> yes but it, it's paid off like last year i did a ton of hill reps um whether it's a really steep hill that's about 40 40 seconds is what we're doing right now eight times um on like a two minute interval and then we build into a longer hill rep that's less steep that's about like five times two and a half minutes up the hill and something like that. And I think those are really what teach you how to, as a person that's becoming a, a very good runner. <laughs> Amazing transformation um, happening on the show. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is great. As a, as a, as a real runner, um, it teaches you good form and it, it, it forces you to have good form when you're, when you're <laughs> fighting gravity a little bit more. As the season progresses, we'll do a lot of uh, grass circuits. He likes to make a, a figure eight on on a soccer field so that we're turning in both directions, whereas in a track you turn around one direction. And the grass field is a lot softer and less impact than, say, a road surface or even a track. So we'll do some variation of an eight to 10K workout on the grass. All of our workouts start and end the exact same way. We do a 15 minute warm up and a 10 minute cool down. And so he likes us to just get the work in and and there's no fluff and I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Thursday's hard run. How do you Thursday's finish hard that? Run. Friday we'll probably have a hard swim, maybe a hard bike too. Saturdays We'll probably have uh, like a run and a bike. The run might be hard again. We usually have two hard runs a week, two hard bikes a week, and two hard swims a week. And then Sunday is usually a long ride. And depending on what time of the year, we might have a run that day. But our rides don't get much longer than three hours, maybe four. Like I said before, he he cuts out all the fluff. (laughs) And so we whatever we're doing, we... We show up, we do our warm up, whether it's an 800 swim warm up, and we do the work. And the bike ride, we bike to wherever we're doing the workout, and then we 
we do the hill reps and <laughs> we bike home. So it's nice, but sometimes you miss the fluff <laughs> too. <laughs> like, oh, I'd love to do some some drills or some IM during my swim set, but we only swim freestyle in our races. So yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so no extra credit. There's no time to. There's no extra yeah, credit. Yeah. When you're warming up and warming down, yeah, you yeah. can do whatever you want. But yeah, I yeah. think, it, I think mm. it's it's important to to note you do a race that uh, the bike maybe takes an hour, hour ten, hour twenty, and you're biking four hours. So I think it, it just shows like it doesn't just because you're doing a short race doesn't mean you always do short yeah. rides. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, we always do one long ride a mm-hmm. week and. I think when the intensity gets higher, it might be two and a half hours long, maybe two, but for the most part, it's three plus. <laughs> yes. Nice. Awesome. All right, cool. Thanks for that little insight. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of change happening here in the podcast, yes. during the podcast. Without so, cacao this time. Without <laughs> cacao. I know. You didn't even, you didn't even have cacao. We don't have any ceremony. I'm sure you've heard us talking about it. Is this like, I haven't, but uh, uh, you're not making a Portlandia reference, are you? No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>